In this video, we're going to discuss the amortized cost of a held to maturity investment. So when we think about debt securities, they can be classified three ways. We can have held to maturity, we could have available for sale, or we could have them classified as trading. So both available for sale and trading are marked to market on the balance sheet. So that means the fair value. But held to maturity, we say that it's marked at amortized cost, which is not fair value. It's different than that. So you might be thinking, what the heck is amortized cost? So, so I want to show you in this video. Here's a quick recap of how you calculate the issue price of a bond if you're interested. Uh, you don't need to know it for the example I'm going to show you. So let's say we've got Babu's Chocolate Factory. He issues $100,000 of five-year bonds. Uh, the stated rate of interest on the bonds is 7% paid out annually and then the market rate for in similar bonds is 9% so the issue price is $92,221 and so I'm going to show you an effective interest table so I've got here's our initial carrying value is $92,221 okay now as as we talked about in another video over time we're, we're, so we're going to multiply this carrying value by the market rate of interest that's going to give us our interest revenue and the difference between interest revenue and the cash received is going to be uh, the amount of the discount that's being being amortized and the same thing would work for for a premium okay it's a the premium we'd start higher than a hundred thousand and then come down to a hundred thousand with the discount we're starting at lower than a hundred thousand ninety two two twenty one and going up to a hundred thousand okay now getting to this idea of amortized costs if somebody asked you, so let's say at the, this date two, that's the end of year two. So if somebody at your firm asked you, and, and let's say you're the investor, so we're ta now not talking about Babu's point of view. Babu is the, the person who borrowed the money or the company that borrowed the money. I'm talking about your firm. Your firm bought this bond from, from Babu. So you're the investor, and someone at your firm says, hey, um, we're going to classify this as a held to maturity security. Right? So that means we're going to hold it. We have the intent and the ability to hold Babu's debt, to hold that until the end of year five. Okay. Now, at the end of year two, someone asks you, hey, what, what value should this be at on our balance sheet? What? And you say, oh, well, it's at amortized cost. And they say, well, what does amortized cost mean? It's basically the carrying value at that given point in time. So the amortized cost, so again, if this is a held to maturity security, then at the end of year two, you would have an invest, your investment would show $94,937 on your balance sheet. That would, it would say you'd have debt investment, in, oh, investment, HTM, something like that. Okay, so that's going to be an asset on your balance sheet at the end of year two. The amortized cost is $994,937. Now, I'm going to show you that with a T account, actually. I will show you that. So if we start, so here's, here's our debt investment. Okay, so we start with $92,221. Right? That's what we paid for the investment. That was the issue price. Okay, now what's going to happen is our first journal entry, we're going to debit cash for $7,000. We're going to debit the debt investment for $1,300. And that's just, we know it's $1,300. That's the plug, the difference between the interest revenue and the cash, okay, which in this case, you know, just multiply the market rate by the carrying value at that time, okay. Now, year two, we're going to have $1,417, okay, $1,417. So if someone asked you, again, at the end of year two, what is the carrying value? you would go and you would add these. Okay, so you would have, and it's actually 94, 938. This is just a rounding difference of why it's 94, 937 and 94, 9, 938. It's just due to rounding. It's the same thing that, that we're doing here. It's not a mistake. So you've, you've amortized some of this discount because it's a, this is the end of year two, end of year two. This is the amount that this bond or this bond is going to be on in your assets section of your balance sheet, ninety-four thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight. So that's the amortized cost. Now, could be an impairment. Things could change, right? And it, 
and we'll talk about that in future videos but ignoring all that end of year two 94 937 and if someone said okay what should this be at at the end of year three 96,482 so so that's our am amortized cost